Hi, this is Ushio, and welcome back to Angels with Scaly Wings. This is the fourth playthrough. We have done Adeen's bad ending, we've had the neutral ending, and we've had Bryce's good ending. And yeah, so I guess we're going to start again. We've also done some of the side characters, Sebastian, uh, that guy, Kevin, and whoever that was, Zhong, wasn't it? Katsuharu, I think that was the guy's name. Anyway, let's go. I'm going to skip initial sections. And we're just going to do the tasty bits now. The new the new stuff. Continue your journey. Bam. Chapter 1. Let's get to it. Poor old Sebastian. <laughs> Here are our options. We've done... I think we've done pretty much all of these characters. So I'm going to have to skip ahead to later chapters, I think. But I've done... Bryce, good ending. Adeen, bad ending. I tried Anna, but I couldn't get her ending at all because she's quite a volatile character. So I've got a toss-up. we got Lorem and Remy. So I'll just see. I think I'll go with Lorem, and then we'll see how that goes. Okay, we're on to chapter two already. <laughs> Let's keep it rolling, rolling, rolling. Okay, so we got a... Yeah, we've got some different investigations we can do. Let's try the grocery store. I entered the store, the sound of a bell alerting the staff of my arrival. Seeing the patrons browsing the shelves, neatly stocked with wares of all kinds, evoked some feelings of nostalgia and normalcy for me. This must be the store that Rez has been shopping at. And there's the shop owner, this is Zhong, who also works in the bar. He does a lot of part-time work to support his son. Okay, this prescription has expired. I can't fit it in like this. You will need to tell your parents to visit the doctor so he can write you a new one. Bye. She turned around, nearly running into me, when she suddenly bolted toward the door. Yo, Ushio, what's up? How can I help? You know who I am? Yep, how could I not? Everyone knows about you. Also, on the last playthrough, we went on a date. How can I help? Who's that? Tell me. You mean the girl? That is Vara. She comes here occasionally to pick up her mother's prescription. Okay, I think... I'd like to talk to Vara at some point. I've seen her around and I've never actually dealt with her stuff. So I'll try and pursue Vara's storyline if I can. Okay, we are done. Let's visit the library next. Okay... Okay, Reza, what did you want here? Yo, yeah, it's Remy. Yo, what's up? I already told you, it's not here. Who's he talking to, Adine? Oh, shit, she is. Won't you help out an old friend? This is new. I've not seen this before. Friend, this is the first time you've spoken to me in years. <laughs> and whose fault was that? For you, I didn't even exist these last few years. At least I tried to reach out. No, you're just here because you want something. Remy, chill. I'm right here, right now, and you still continue to act like that. She was my friend too, you know. Hmm. I think you should leave. Hmm. It's all a bit awkward between these two. For what it's worth, I'm sorry for everything. It's a little late for apologies. Wow. Have it your way then. They are on bad terms. This isn't good. Adine stormed out so quickly that she didn't even notice me. I waited a few moments and wondered if it was a good time to talk to Remy. In the end, I decided that my task was too pressing to come back at another time. I shuffled through the books and tried to look busy until I noticed he resumed his work so I could approach him. Yo, what's up? How can I help? Uh, oh shit. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing fine, thanks. Really? Uh, has Reza been here recently? He's visited quite often since he arrived, actually, until a few days ago, that is. Do you know what he was reading up on? Not particularly. I thought he just wanted to learn about our world. Did you notice anything unusual about him while he was here? I can't say I did, though he did ask me for a map once. A map? Yeah, I, sh I showed him a few, but none of them seemed to be what he was looking for. Did he talk to you about anything strange while he was here? Besides the maps, nothing else worth mentioning comes to mind, only the usual pleasantries. Okay, shall we, shall we intrude? 
What did the Dean want? Come on, let's ask. Wait, you were there the whole time? Uh, not the whole time, just long enough to know that something's up. Nothing that concerns you. Come on, it does concern me. We're bros, and yeah, I'm a friend with the Dean as well, no problem. It's really nothing of great importance. Are you aware of a certain prehistoric underground building that we recently discovered? Nice change of tack. Okay, I've heard about it. She wanted a blueprint of it, which was one of the things found inside the building during an investigation. Okay, why would you have it? We're not just a library, you know, but a whole archive that stores all sorts of information and objects. In any case, a blueprint is the kind of thing that would be placed in our care eventually. So she thinks you have it. Even if we did, it wouldn't be something we could just give out to anyone. Of course. Okay, that's the conversation done. Thanks for your help. No problem. The afternoon sun hung low in the sky, and I decided it was time to report my findings to the police. After a brief call to the department, I was on my way to an appointment with Sebastian. Anyway, you said you had some information for us. What did you find? Let's tell him. The receipts you got are interesting, there might be something more to them. Or oh, they could just be a useless record of his eating habits. You never know what you might find out about a person and their habits or their plans this way. The map in the library, I don't know what to think about that. He could have needed a map to plan something I suppose, but who knows what he really wanted to do with it. It's the kind of detail that on its own might not tell us much but could be crucial later on. Well done, that gives us some solid points from which we can continue our investigation. In any case, thanks for your help. We appreciate it. You're welcome. That should be all. Since Bryce still hasn't come back, I assume the search is still going on, and I better get out there and help him. I guess it's going to be a long day. Can you find your way back to the apartment? Of course I can. See you later. Good luck. Okay, here we go. Let's visit the store again. Here we are. Oh, it's her again. If you've mixed up the prescriptions again, I can't help you. I can't refill this one. We're just about to close, so you have to bring the right one tomorrow. Yo, how can I help? Actually, I'm just about to close up here. Make it quick. I'm here on behalf of the police, and I was hoping you could answer a few questions. Okay, I don't mind, as long as you make it quick. I've got to leave for my other job soon. Vara, why are you still here? I told you. Come back tomorrow. Here. Have a lolly on the house. <laughs> I guess she doesn't want it. Okay, what's the deal with her anyway? I'm not sure what's up with her lately. This isn't the first time this has happened. One time, the doctor forgets to issue a new prescription. Another time, she brings me an expired one instead of the new one. She isn't exactly the brightest, but this is unusual even for her. Okay, what do you want to know? Uh, so last time, I pursued the police report, but this time I'm going to follow Vara and we're going to see what she's up to. Actually, excuse me, sorry, we'll have to do this another time. If you say so. Okay, we are gone. Luckily, she hadn't gotten too far, so I followed her from a distance, as you do. Minutes passed as we walked through the streets, weaving through an unfamiliar part of town. The young dragon looked small and lonely on the empty road. Don't stalk people. Not cool. Before long, we passed the village border, yet she pressed on and stepped into the forest. I turned back once to gaze at the village on the far horizon, and in an instant the dragon was gone. I rushed to the spot I'd seen the last, and found the entrance to a cave on a hillside. Well, here we go. When I peered inside, I saw Vara alongside a much larger orange dragon. The small dragon filled a bowl with a thick fluid and placed it in front of the other. Then she placed her hands on the large dragon's chin. Gently, she lifted its huge muzzle and guided it toward the bowl. But when she released it, the dragon's head slumped and fell into the liquid. The bowl tumbled sideways and spilled its contents across the cave floor. Yeah, they sound fairly ill or non-responsive. Not good. Not good. Yeah, eat, eat your food. They're, they're completely out of it. Mm, doesn't look good. I realised then that other than what Havara had done, the orange dragon hadn't moved at all since I arrived. That's not good at all. How did you even find out about this? I could tell something was wrong, so I followed her. I see. Oh, 
on another storyline, it was one of the Bryce roots, I think. He described, uh, yeah, someone had died and then the child had starved to death and the father had been murdered and it was all kinds of horrible. So this might be to do with that. Well, good job. What's going to happen to her now? She'll be sent to the orphanage. The background check determined that she had a father, but the two hadn't seen each other in years. Can't you locate him? Yeah, according to Bryce, he might have been murdered. Oh, Reza's second victim, the maintenance guy. That was him. That's really shitty luck. That's the worst. I see, okay. How did it even get this far? I don't know. We'll certainly look into it. Some just fall through the cracks of the system. Being out here on their own probably didn't help. Do many of your people live outside the town like this? Well, some do it on principle, others because they have no other choice. Houses and apartments can be expensive, and it's not unusual for us to use natural environments as our homes. Okay, I think we're done here for now. Don't forget to stop by the department later. I won't. Oh, that's grim though. Poor old Vara. You followed Vara, well done. I don't feel good about stalking a child in the night, that's just not, not good. Now let's take a look at what you've got for me. Back at Sebastian, back, back at base. You did great today. The police department is glad to have you at our side. You saved that little girl. As far as I'm concerned, nothing else you could have done would have mattered as much. Good job. I didn't do anything, I just followed her. You did well in the third investigation. What was that? Investigatastic? <laughs> okay, so that's got me some uh, achievements. So now I've done all the investigations successfully. Do what I can. I know, and your help is greatly appreciated, believe me. Especially since we're so short on staff right now. That's all for today. I'll contact you if you need anything. Of course. See you next time.